towards the end of RCIA, right before baptism, one of the girls in my RCIA class asked the instructor, why did Christ die for us again? And I remember that I had read the answer to that, and in my mind, I, in a very uncharitable way, kind of scoffed, thinking, well, we should all know that by now. But when I got home, I realized that I couldn't really answer that question in a way that I understood why Christ made the ultimate sacrifice for us. So that's an answer that I'm still trying to come to terms with even now, because it is such an amazing act of love that I don't think we'll ever be able to understand on this side of the dark glass. But I think that trying to answer that question for yourself is what uh, has kept me intellectually and emotionally curious. I think of uh, the traditional Jewish conversion experience where if you want to convert to Judaism, you go to a rabbi and you knock on the door once and he closes the door in your face. You go twice, he closes it again. And finally, on the third time, will they consider uh, you a potential convert? And I think that's to show that you're determined no matter what it takes. And I think in my experience, there were times where I questioned the church or was confused by certain aspects, but I persevered. And only in persevering, I think, does does Christ in a way reward you with more of himself? And so I would tell anyone who is considering entering the faith or who's maybe hit a roadblock that your perseverance will be rewarded. If you knock, the door will be opened. And if you seek, you will find. We're living in such a corporatized society where everything is planned out and there's materials and tests and structure. And I think taking responsibility for your own conversion or reversion is what can give you that, that close relationship with your faith is when you put down the RCIA books and what other people tell you and say, I have to find it for myself and take ownership of that. And I think that's what makes you feel invested in your faith. Find a really good priest, ask for spiritual direction. Even if you're not yet in the church, I think they would be happy to meet with you. Um, going to some of the spiritual classics for me, Father Xavier Lassance was an author who specifically writes um, catechetical materials that I thought was very helpful. And uh, attending the Latin Mass, you know, for me was something even before I was formally into the church, um, made me feel like there was something for me to approach outside of, of RCIA.